G'day everyone. What if I told you we could make a substance that you can run your finger through like liquid and it'll move around like water, but you can also hold in your hand like a rock. Well, today we're playing around with a non-Newtonian fluid called oobleck. Here's what you're going to need. There's only two main ingredients to this one. Corn flour, I've got about half a cup here, and water. I'm probably going to use somewhere a bit less than a quarter of a cup of water, but we're going to judge that by eye. I'm also going to add in some food colouring just to make it look cool. I need a bowl to mix it in, a spoon to mix it with, and I've got some paper towel to clean up with afterwards. The first step is to add our corn flour to the bowl. If you're using food colouring, now's the time to put it in. If you're not, don't worry, you'll just have white coloured oobleck. Then we want to start adding our water really, really slowly. You can oversaturate this mixture, meaning having too much water in there, and you want to avoid that. So just add small amounts at a time and gently start to move it in. You'll straight away start to notice that it gets a little bit hard to stir. That is the non-Newtonian properties of this substance starting to act, and I'll explain more about that later. We're just going to mix in the water slowly until our mixture is fairly fluid, but not too saturated. As you mix, you'll start to feel the liquid becoming harder and harder to move the spoon through. You'll probably notice that if you move your spoon slowly, it'll act like a liquid. The faster you start to move, the harder it becomes to stir. And that's it. We've created our non-Newtonian fluid. So you'll see now that if I swish it around, it moves a lot like water. I can run my finger through it slowly and it moves through with almost no resistance. As soon as I start to move quickly, I can actually grab handfuls of it and it's like a rock. But as soon as I take the pressure off, it starts to drop away again like a liquid. What we've created here is called a non-Newtonian fluid. If we move slowly, it flows at one rate, but if we move quickly, the flow reduces. There's a variety of different non-Newtonian fluids. This is just a cool one that you can make at home. A lot of people call this one oobleck after a story from Dr. Seuss, and it's great fun to play with. You can actually pick up whole things of it in your hand. As soon as you take the pressure off, it flows out like liquid. But if you keep enough pressure on, you can actually get it into like a rock. But as soon as that pressure's gone, it's back to a fluid. Now, while this is an incredibly messy experiment, it's also a whole lot of fun. I recommend doing it on a kitchen bench or outside, somewhere that's nice and easy to clean up afterwards, not on a material covered recording studio like this. It's gonna make a lot of mess. But see what else you can do with this. Try putting it in a plastic bag and hitting it, see how hard it gets. Or put a little bit on the ground and hit it with a hammer, see what happens. Now that I've put my oobleck away and I'm not so distracted, I can explain what's going on here. So, as I mentioned earlier, Isaac Newton came up with some work around uh, fluids and he said that they always move at the same viscosity while they're at the same temperature and pressure, meaning that they'll always flow the same way. Oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid because it doesn't behave the way he described. If you move your hand through slowly, it'll behave like liquid. But if you move your hand through quickly, it becomes more like a solid. The reason for this has been debated in the scientific community. One of the most recent conclusions is that as you move quickly, you force the liquid out of the way of the molecules that are suspended in there. They then grate on each other, creating friction, which is why it starts to behave as a solid. And as you release the pressure, the liquid comes flowing back in and it moves back towards behaving like a liquid. I hope you've had a bit of fun today, made a bit of mess, and we'll see you for the next video.